Okay, welcome back. As I said, our special guest today is Nick Xenophon, Independent Senator of South Australia. We've had him out on the green today, doing a bit of research. Bit of homework, Nick. <laughs> no, is there an exam? Because I'm going to fail. <laughs> Hi. Do you know I'm a sports tragic? Absolutely. TJ? Really? Yeah, tragically, I know nothing about any sports. <laughs> Apparently they read it at Adelaide Oval recently. I didn't know about that. Am I the last person in the state to know about Dripping that? Dripping past it a couple of times, didn't notice a difference. No, I didn't. <laughs> no, I did. <laughs> Looking How old at is his Gregory's office? Australian Guide to Bowls? Do you think where's the street map? There's no street map. The yeah. only Gregory's I've bought have got... Who's that guy there? He looks like a legend. That guy there captain the first ship into Australia. <laughs> <laughs> his name is Jimmy Cook. What a legend. Nick... What's drawn you to Bowles? You're the uh, newly appointed ambassador for Bowles SA, and thank you for that. I was blackmailed. Absolutely. Yeah, there good, were photos. Good. good. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it is a great sport, it, and I, I was involved in an issue through Bowles SA about uh, pushing to change the law, and I wrote a newspaper column I really enjoyed writing about in the Sunday mm -hmm. Mail some time ago um, about the whole issue of... Um, uh, bowling and genders and the like and that was sorted out I think in a sensible way eventually but um, it just got me thinking about the community nature of bowls and of course there's that famous movie Cracker Jack which involved pokies uh, or no pokies um, you're going to censor out all the political bits aren't you no <laughs> um, but, uh, so it was it was a really um, so the more I, I got into it and speaking to people who did bowls and kidding a lot of young people are doing bowls and I'm not talking about me because I'm an old bastard can I say bastard on this? Well, you've done it twice now, so no. I think we're pretty good <laughs> to go. Am I offended the president, though? Not at all. Not at all? Okay, I'm not good. If I'm offended the president, that's okay. Um, so there's a sense of community, and um, there was a famous book, it was about 10 pin bowling, it was called Bowling Alone, uh, by a guy called Robert Putnam in the States, and he talked about a breakdown of communities and disintegration of communities because people weren't involved in community activities, so people were literally bowling alone in the US. And he talked... And it was actually very thought-provoking because it, the opposite of what he, Robert Putnam, was talking about was what you guys are doing. There's a strong sense of community, people keep an eye on each other, there's that community activity uh, and a sense of belonging. And it's also a good way to uh, get fit and keep fit. So it ticks all the boxes. That's good, isn't it? It is pretty good. So, uh, so any chance of getting out on the green tomorrow, you reckon? Um, I'm washing my hair tomorrow, so okay. I'm, I'm busy. <laughs> so there you go, folks, he's dodged that bullet. <laughs> <laughs> Look, um, on, a, on a different note, yeah. I believe you're a man after my own heart. You like the food. Yeah, I'm Greek. It's a Greek descent, you know, it comes, it comes to the territory. Hand in hand. Yeah. Favourite meal? What, is this the last meal or favourite meal? Yeah, your favourite meal. My favourite meal, you know, like, you know, dying man's wish or something. Um, I'm quite partial to my, to my old dear's moussaka, which is, uh, you know, it's the eggplant and the and the, the white sauce and the mints and I stuff. I had absolutely no idea, but I'm nodding because it looks good. But, yeah, no, no, <laughs> you should go. Go to a Greek restaurant and have some musica. Right. Go have some musica. I'll take you for some musica one day. Well, I look forward to that. Okay, it's not a rude word. It's not a swear word. No, I've uh, been set up like that before, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and um, there's there's also uh, octopus, chargwood octopus, but there's a secret. Can I give you the secret? To create? Please give me the secret. secret. Because the trouble with octopus is that it gets really, can get really tough if you if you just throw it on the, on the charcoal because it dries out. So the secret is you part cook it on a, on a, a, a not a griller, just on a, a, a flat barbecue, you know, on a hot plate. Yep. And that sort of gets it half ready. Uh, and then you only have to put it on the char grill for a few minutes on the coals for a few minutes and it's cooked to perfection. I might, if you ever have a Christmas function here, I might bring a couple of kilos of it. We look forward to all the kitchens right there. Okay. Now I've heard, heard, of, uh, heard a bit of a rumor and read an article that your worst meal, two minute noodles. Not a fan of the two minute noodles. Um, no, no, two minute noodles don't quite do it for me, and usually I'm impatient, you know, I'm sort of watching, looking at the, yeah. the clock and... And if it's not two minutes, it's over. Yeah, it's not Absolutely. two minutes, it's not over. <laughs> That's it, it was a lie. Yeah, that's right, two minute noodles. <laughs> but sometimes when you're in Parliament and you're running yeah. around from one thing to another, you get the two minute noodles and throw yeah. in a tin of tuna and soy sauce and you just, you do what you can. And the mill's there, it's all done, ready to roll, straight into Parliament for an action pack session. Yeah, as long as you haven't got any noodles going down your down Could your make chin. it interesting in there, add a little life. <laughs> yeah, well, no, bring, there's the, enough, bring, the, bring the young no, viewers into the there, Parliament there's, question a, there's, time. there's enough life in the new Senate, believe me. There's enough <laughs> excitement there right now. So, Nick, tell me, if you had to hold a dinner, who would be some of the people you'd love to have at that dinner and what would you serve them? Dead or alive. Your call. You want to be dead or alive? It's up to you. <laughs> no. 
Are these people that are still alive? <laughs> yeah, they can be alive. They can be dead. You don't have to feed them, though. No, no, <laughs> no, they. Um, I know. You know. I reckon it would just be members of my family. You mm-hmm. know, uh, but also, I'm a bit partial to the Woody Allen humour. Yeah. Uh, his earlier humour. I think he went a bit off the rails the last few years, and. Um, he got a bit adventurous, there, didn't he? Yeah, for the wrong reasons. Mm. Yeah, I may not talk about it. No, we won't talk about that. No, we won't talk about that. Bowls. Well, I did mention him in my first speech in the Senate. Mm. I'll give you the line in a minute, but this might go too long. But uh, I used his first speech in the Senate. There's an opening line in one of his movies, Annie Hall, where he looks at the camera and he said, you know, two old ladies were at a, a upstate New York uh, resort, uh, uh, and I think they were Jewish ladies, he's of Jewish descent, and they said, boy, the food in this place is terrible. And the other one said, yeah and in such small portions. And he said, that's what he thinks of life. You know, it's full of loneliness and misery and unhappiness and grief and it's all over much too quickly. And that's what I think of politics. You know, it's full of, full of awful experiences, but it'll be over much too quickly. Um, Woody Allen, uh, I reckon I, um, Gough Whitlam, because I never met him and he was a giant. He passed away recently and I think he was a colossal. Whether you agree or disagree with him, he changed Australia very significantly and in, I think many ways for the better. So I think it would have been a real character. People that knew him said he was an absolute character. So there are a couple of people. I mean, I can give you the usual cliche things like uh, Mother Teresa and Nelson Mandela, but that would be just too cliche. Well, they're already at everyone else's dinner party, aren't they? Yeah, I think Mao Tung would be interesting. Mm-hmm. And Winston Churchill, get those two in the room together. That would, some sparks would fly. Any, anyone in the Senate? You know, you put him, if I choose one, then I'll get, you know, I'll get the hate mail from my other colleagues. Oh, well, exactly. So I couldn't do that. You couldn't do that? No, I couldn't do so that. Parliamentary poll, the parliamentary bowls team. Yeah. Is there one? You know, I don't know. But I'm told you, there is. I'm just kidding. I need to phone a friend on this one, but I think there is. So you're a member of the bowl, parliamentary bowls team? No. You go out. No, no. we'll just make out now because we had yeah. dinner life people at the dinner party. Yeah, so yeah. We'll use imagination. We'll okay. go. So there you are. You're skipping, you're on the mat. You've got the most aggressive shot, the drive. Who would you drive at in parliament? Look, how long is this segment going for? We can run forever. Can we? Absolutely. How much tape have you got in there? A lot? <laughs> this will have to be like a four hour. It's like Ben Hur times two. No, look, I love all my colleagues. Love them all. So I wouldn't dare drive at any of them. I'm just trying to see what the line crazy. face looks like. They might drive me crazy. <laughs> they might drive me crazy, but I'm not going to, you know. You're going to get me enough trouble as it is. We're trying hard, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who do you think you are, Mike Willisie? Well, you never know. There's a bit of a resemblance, isn't there? To Michael <laughs> see them. So, look, Nick, you're well known for your stunts. Yeah. You go out there, it's a statement, we know you're there. Mm. Any chance of a stunt here today? And if you could pull off a stunt for us today, what would it be? Jeez, you know, this is a tough interview. Um, you know how some people get writer's block? I get stunt block. I've got stunt block at the moment. So I need, maybe if I do a bit of bowl, some bowls, I... It depends what the thing is. With, with a, a good stunt, the mark of a good stunt is you need to make a serious point, but a funny way of doing it. You, you take the issue seriously, but you take the mickey out of the people you're trying to yeah. uh, uh, criticise for the issue. And one of my favourite stunts was getting a dog uh, dressed up as the former Premier Mike Rand. G'day, Mike, from in Roma, wherever you are, a uh, diplomatic position. And he, um, uh, the government had rolled over on some uh, anti-smoking laws. You don't smoke, do you? Good boy. And... Um, uh, so I dressed up this dog, Maxie the Wonder Dog, the most quoted dog in parliamentary records of Hansard in State Parliament. And uh, uh, Maxie would roll over on command, which is very, very funny. And apparently, uh, I don't think the Premier, the then Premier, liked it very much. So I knew it, that made a point, though. The government was rolling over. And uh, I made a point about a cow, uh, a cow dressed up. I got a cow, Daisy, or Nancy. I think it was Noble Nancy it was the name. Um, I had it draped with a big um, uh, banner over the cow saying how much money was lost on gambling and stuff. And I had this on Steps Apartment, had the cow on Steps Apartment House. And then the casino, as you know, is right next door and there's a valet parking area. I tried to valet park the cow, but they weren't too, <laughs> the, people in the, the people in the casino car park didn't quite know what to do with the cow. Uh, but you make your point, you need to choose your stunts carefully. Mm. And the most recent stunt I did was about the, the shipbuilding in South Australia, how South Australian shipbuilders were excluded from a tender process for supply ships. Uh, and also maybe in the submarine. So I've got an Elvis impersonator, Mark Anthony, local lad, doesn't live far from here. Um, one of the top five Elvis impersonators in the world, so you need to invite him at one of your big big functions. Next quiz night. Uh, next quiz night, yeah. He's, you know, he's a class act. He, um, he tur- we turned up in a Mustang convertible following the defence minister's car at the front of the hotel, 
and then he got up and sung Love My Tender. Not Love Me Tender, <laughs> Love My Tender. So you need to make a point. Even it's, the minister right, uh, agreed with it. Well, give me some ideas for a stunt. I'm always looking for good ideas. Well, we're thinking a bit of a jackass. Maybe jump a bowls roller or a mower. Or, but I think there's a bit of danger in that, of you getting hurt, not us, of course, because we'll clearly stand clear. But... Yeah, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I'm i enough of a jackass as it is. I don't need to <laughs> <laughs> prove it here. Nick, thanks for your time, though. Before Wait, we is go... That, is this it? Well, I don't know. What else do you want to talk about? You're never going to replace Lee Sales on the 7.30 program. You know that, don't oh, no. you? I'm you need to be. I need to really push hard, you reckon? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't watch Jack, uh, Cracker Jack before, the, uh, before today? No. Didn't run through it? No. The beer at each end? A bit what? Yeah, the game. It's a beer at each end. Yeah, but I, I'm, it has to be low or no alcohol with me. Well, maybe we can organise that. You reckon? <laughs> um, and bias. I know a lot about bias in politics as well, so you know, I can relate. It's got a lot of resemblance to politics, bowls. doesn't it, Lawn Bowls? Yeah, I know. You know, you've got your team down one end, the head of the team right down the other end, all by himself, minimum of 21 metres away so we can't hear him. Mm. The bowls have got bias. Sometimes they'll do what you want them to do. Most times they don't. <laughs> and you know what? At the end, your plan doesn't always seem to work. It's just like polys, it's a metaphor. Exactly In right. fact, why have parliamentary sittings? Let's just get, get all the polys. Out on the wall, bowl screen, we'll solve it. Yeah, whoever, whoever gets closest to the, to the jack. Get the decision. Mm, that'd be Cracker Jack. How do you reckon Jay Weather would go? You know what? I, I try and get on with all my colleagues. So, uh, probably terribly. Not the last one in there? <laughs> yeah, that was a bit of, <laughs> bit of bias there. Absolutely. You need to ask me how the opposition leader will go as well. Well, I was actually going to ask you about uh, Jackie Lambie. Yeah. How, how does she go? She's got some stunts. I think she's trying to top you on the stunt front. That's okay. I'm sort of, you know, I'm happy to give advice. I'm going to have a stunt consultancy. No, Jackie's doing all right. I'll, I'll agree, disagree, agree with her on some things, such as we're working together on the defence abuse issue, which is important. Uh, on other things, such as the burkas, I just don't agree with her. I don't think that's the way you deal with the issue. But, uh, you know, we'll keep talking, be respectful, and I'll tell her about this. Lovely. All right. Nick, before we go today, I want to... Thank you. Andrew, that's fantastic. You're a cap, so you're a fully capped member of, uh, of the Bowls SA team. Even fits, that's fantastic. And I've got my book here. What's, what is that? What is that? That's a map of Sydney, mate, just in, uh, in case you're interested. <laughs> <laughs> that's my big bowling green. It's, it's gone from a Bowls interview to a ge geography. Look, from everyone here at Bowls SA. Can I? You can keep can that. I, no, no, I can't. I'll lose sure. it. Sure. I'll lose it, but I need to, This is a collector's it's item. It's vintage. What year is this? <laughs> 1923. <laughs> It's fantastic. Is it 1923? No, I doubt it. No, it's 1959. No, that's a number of clubs. What year is it? Hang on, we're trying to work out the year. This is bugging me now. Who's this dude? He looks quite interesting. Does he play bowls like that with a... That's actually right? our president, Mike. <laughs> really? <laughs> Whoops. Wait, this is, this is, look at that. There's a young, young little tacker playing. This is a great book. They should do a reprint of this book. Is it still accurate? Oh, it probably is. Not much changes. And look, and look at this. This reminds me of you. It says, the value is in the name. The value is in the name. And it's an ad for Stamina Slacks. There you go. Do they still make Stamina Slacks? I wouldn't think so. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Thanks right. very much. Nick, I'll thanks for you. your time. Okay, Cheers, thank mate. you. From Bowls Exposed, thank you for watching. And we'll come back to you next week. Thank you.